Hey guys and welcome uh, to the channel. Today I am replacing the tail lights um, on my Ford Territory. This is a 2008 model. Um, if you are a Ford Territory owner or if you see one on the road, most of the time one of the tail lights or brake lights is faulty. You'll see that. And um, sometimes it's due to the bulb not um, being connected or touching correctly um, and the other big percentage of the time is because you need to replace them. Now two things to be aware of when replacing taillights, especially the territory ones. Um, a mechanic friend of mine said that when you're replacing the territory tail lights you need to do both sides at the same time so not just replacing one side so both sides and the other big thing to be aware of when you're replacing tail lights or anything like that is that there can be cobwebs and spiders behind them so look out for especially here um, redback spiders in Australia um, be careful of that I almost got bitten by one once um, so if that happens, go to the hospital. Um, okay, anyway guys, let's get started. Now the Ford Territory taillights are the simplest taillights I've ever come across to replace the bulbs on. It's as simple as getting a Phillips, any Phillips head screwdriver, one that fits I suppose, the nuts and screws uh, so it's just two screws off these two when you open the tailgate and you just pull back out so I'll just show you now okay, this side. Uh, if I can get a screwdriver in as always don't lose the screws These are standard screws because most of the four territories have um, inside the car. You'll notice they have the hex. Uh, I forget what they're called now. Anyway, um, digress. So once you've got those two screws out, simple case of dropping it like that. <laughs> that's how easy it is. That's how easy it is, and that's the cobwebs I'm talking about. So just be careful. Um, essentially, it's those two. Um, inserts that go into the body there that's what's holding it in and the two screws you just pulled out so just be careful doesn't look like there's any spiders here so what you're doing is just replacing you can take the electrical cable off to make it easier you don't have to lucky it's there it catches it when you drop it just like I did um, so essentially you're twisting Twisting to get the bulb out. <coughs> there it is. Now these ones work sometimes and sometimes they don't. Um, I think it's just the four territory team thing. I don't know. But there'll be times when I see my wife drive away and they're working and then there'll be other times where it's not working. So I'm just going to replace them both. All and then see how we go. Okay. So these are the just standard automotive gloves from Super Cheap. Just replace it with them. Okay. So doing that. Doing this with one hand with the camera is a bit tough guys, so you've got to twist that out, hold it and twist it, and it comes out. So I'll just do that. Just be mindful of how it comes out as well. So you'll have, that's, that's where the, but those, those holders I guess is what they are, that's where they go in, so just be mindful of how they go in and twist, okay? Okay, so once you've got it in, just give it a test, so. I'd like to test before I bolt everything back on. You don't have to with these ones, I suppose. They're pretty easy to, um, 
take back out if you have to. So I'll just turn the tail lights on first. So there we go, good work there. Um, and then I like to test the brake as well, so I'll just use a brick if I don't have anyone else. Push, push the brake pedal down and then just hold it in place. Now you have to have the auxiliary right, lights on. Test the brake lights. And here it is a bit brighter than normal. It's coming on now, so that's good. Good test. Okay, so let's put it back on. Okay, so it's putting it back in. And I'll just twist put it back in. Just feel the groove and then twist it back in place until it clips. You can hear it click, click in. It's the same for the reverse tail, um, reverse light. The indicator and that's the other tail light so that one will work as well then I don't have to replace that for now anyway so be mindful putting it back in so that as I said before those two sorry those two knobs um, marry up with those holes in the body so essentially you're going just pushing back in until you hear it click again and then you screw in back your screws so you just with these you just got to make sure it matches up again there okay okay just make sure you lift the tail light up to get the screwdriver in it matches up with the hole and that one in Second one. So simple, guys. Even I can do it. <laughs> All right, just make sure they're in correctly. And there you go. That's how you replace the tail lights on a Ford Territory. Until next time guys, catch ya!